Welcome to Top 5, I'm your host Ayaz Akhtar. Let's talk about Windows 10. Microsoft's brand new operating system has been in the wild for some time now as a preview. The launch of Windows 10 actually has people buzzing because it looks like Microsoft got the message after Windows 8. So let's count down the top 5 reasons to upgrade to Windows 10. And number 5, it's free. How could Microsoft get you to upgrade from the operating system you already have to a new one? How about not charging for it? Microsoft Windows 10 is free for the first year of availability for users of Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. Are you too cheap to pay Microsoft nothing for a brand new snazzy operating system complete with a free redesigned web browser replacing Internet Explorer? Are you? Number 4, Xbox Streaming. Any Xbox One game can be streamed to your Windows 10 desktop PC, laptop, or tablet. Want to stream that game without Windows 10? Nope, you're not doing that. The full Xbox experience lands on your Windows machine as long as you're running Windows 10 on the same network. If you want a game outside on your porch on your tablet, boom, you can do that. Maybe somebody doesn't want you hogging the TV, but you want a game, boom, Windows 10 takes care of that too. At number three is Cortana. Part of Windows 10 is a personal assistant called Cortana that you may have seen on Windows Phone. You'll be able to ask Cortana to take care of tasks, look up things, get reminders, or check the weather. Unlike previous Microsoft assistants, <coughs> Clippy, <coughs> Cortana is generally well liked. There are other personal assistants out there like Siri and Google Now, but they don't have the same integration with your laptop like Cortana does. Number two, windowed modern apps. If you've used Windows 8 at all, you're well aware of the new style of apps that run in a full screen mode or can be snapped in different ways on your screen. However, those modern apps and those older desktop apps didn't really live in the same space. Microsoft figured out something with Windows 10. What about putting apps in Windows? Windows 10 uses Windows to manage applications. All the applications. Modern app, you can run that in a window. Older app, you can run that in a window too. It's brilliant. But seriously, windowed modern apps are really useful. Before we hit the number one reason to upgrade to Windows 10, let's take a look at a few reasons not to upgrade. If you love that charms bar on the side of the Windows 8 interface, don't upgrade. It's gone in Windows 10. Windows Media Center also got the axe in Windows 10. The app used to be a part of Windows 7, then an add-on for Windows 8, and in Windows 10, Media Center is officially dead. Anyway, on to number one. The number one reason to upgrade to Windows 10 is the new start menu. When you click that start button on your keyboard, you'll see an old friend with a slightly new look. I'm talking about the start menu that brings along some live tiles with it. By default, clicking the start button will not take you to that otherworldly start screen that flung you out of a desktop or app to a world of tiles. By the way, you can opt into having that start button take you to the Windows 8 style start screen in a setting, but who's gonna do that? Microsoft listened to tons of feedback and brought back a start menu that people knew how to use. In general, Windows 10 fixes everything wrong with Windows 8 and takes the best parts of Windows 7 and 8 to build a solid operating system. Agree? Disagree? Let me know. For better or worse, I do read the comments on our YouTube page. If you want me to catch your feedback even faster, hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Ayaz. For more top fives like this, visit top5.cnet.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.